afternoon today is Friday and I'm here working from home today as you can see um, and yes I do have my hair done I got it done bigger this time because I just don't like sitting down for hours and taking them out that's the reason why I haven't had my hair actually braided in a long time like the little braids that I used to get a long time ago if you guys remember the ones who have been there from the beginning I used to get like not micro braids but they were kind of small yeah I don't do that anymore I don't want to sit to get them done but I want the look and I definitely don't want to sit to take them out yeah so I usually don't get my hair braided anymore unless it's like this and shine did this so yeah so I decided to come in the living room because I'm on my last break actually the kids they have went to a church function for the young people when I say young people I mean like 15 to 30 so pretty much um yeah young people but then young, young adults that goes as well mostly so they have actually left for that they left about an hour ago maybe an hour and a half so yeah they're excited about that and they are actually staying the night each year is in a different city so yeah they're gonna actually stay overnight because even though it's not that far if church gets out really late and then usually they go out to eat with their friends or people or that they've met and from the church and stuff like that and so it's just like a big huge event so you don't want to well i don't want them on the road like at one or two in the morning coming back home because they're tired and no i'm not saying church lasts that long but if you guys know anything about church and you know church service get good okay it may last a little bit long but then sometimes they have what's called afterburners just something afterwards that they can like fellowship get to know each other um games i mean there's food trucks just stuff like that just i mean i did all this when i was a kid growing up in church so yeah i'm glad that they are getting to experience that because they've been making many of friends and yeah so that's what they're doing so it's just me tonight y'all need to get another dog but then I don't want to every time I think about getting another dog I'm like yeah we should do it and then my heart's like nope I'm not gonna do it because I'm not gonna go through this again because um we don't want to get a puppy and that's just us we know we're better with older dogs but yet with older dogs comes you know it's depending on their lifespan yeah you may not have them as long so nothing's going on after work I'm gonna run a few errands and then by the time you guys see this video the video of my living room reveal will already have been up so if you haven't seen it please check that out because y'all my living room let me sh let me show you I mean look at this look at this I did this y'all it's so nice yes I am so in love okay let me get back to work actually no I still have five minutes so I made it back home I went to Target I needed some Tide Pods and I didn't want to deal with the Costco crowd because I usually get my Tide Pods from there and of course picked up other stuff that I didn't need you know how it is with Target and then I went to Bel Air because tomorrow at my church we're having a ladies breakfast and the guest speaker is going to be there. I'm actually excited about that. And speaking of church, I'm going to tell you guys something about my church in a little bit. Um, nothing bad. But anyway, I am going to clean my bathroom in my room. It's not a mess, but it's a mess, if that makes any sense. Because I have clothes to fold and wash, and it's just time. And it's time to clean my bathroom because I don't want to do it this weekend I want to have a nice relaxing weekend so yeah I'm gonna get started on that and I'm not gonna show you guys that because I'm just not it's not a cleaning video today so yeah hey everyone so I just finished cleaning my bathroom area I still have to well I swept in my bathroom area but I still have to um, straighten up in my room and then I'll be done for the night in there and then I'll move on to the kitchen and kitchen is not bad just a few dishes and wipe down the countertops but anyway just folding a load of towels I like folding towels y'all do you because it's so easy and you don't have to worry about socks and your under things and you know all the little stuff like that 
don't know, just holding towels, I love. And I'm sweating, I'm sorry, but I was cleaning. So, I was gonna tell you guys something. Oh, so my church, if you guys remember, um, a little over a year ago, I told you guys that my pastor, he had been sick and he's actually on the list for a kidney, but he had to let the church go because he um, felt that he couldn't give us what he needed, like as a pastor. And there was no one at the church that was qualified enough to help him temporarily. I take that back, actually there was, but they didn't want to do it. And the other guy, he said, yeah, I'll do it, but I mean, you know, like he didn't want to be the only person because our church wasn't that big. So very sadly, my pastor had to shut his church down, or close up, whatever you want to call it, retire the church, I don't know. but. I was really sad and I'm still sad because I love the church there and the Spirit of God moved and he was an awesome preacher he was a prophet I mean he was just amazing and even though I still see them now because they go to the church that I go to now but they're not members there um, they do go to other churches we just decided to join because you know we just needed like a home church so we've been there since July of last year 2021 and the church is okay I mean I'm not gonna say anything bad or negative about it because I'm just not and oh my goodness when I find towels like this um, this has to be a cleaning towel because I don't see any of my kids rubbing their bodies with this so I'm just gonna but we usually wash the cleaning towel separately so anyway what was I saying the church that I'm at now I showed you guys a video like of the empty church and the people are really nice and it's it's good it's very different than what I'm used to um, it's still the same faith but um, I don't know people just are different there and I don't know I, I don't know how to explain it but to make a long story short because I'm sure you guys don't want to hear all the, the tiny little details of our decision but we have decided to go to a different church and tomorrow no not tomorrow tomorrow Saturday this Sunday will be the last day at the church we are now. Um, we've already talked to the pastor of the new church that we are going to be attending. And yeah, I'm excited. Um, I'm excited and I just can't wait to start the next phase of my spiritual growth, you guys. The church we go to now, I mean, I don't want to say anything negative, and I don't have anything against anyone there, it's just, I don't know, I can't, I don't feel God, no, I, I, I take that back, I, um, how do I explain it? I don't feel that there's anointing there, if you know what I mean. They don't really get with it. And I know church is not all about the running, the jumping, the shouting, whatever. I get that. It's not based on feelings. I get that. But you should feel something. And I don't know. There's it's the only thing I can explain is there's no anointing that's there or I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And I've been feeling this way for a while. And apparently my girls were also. And yeah, um, it started
started around January, maybe for me. And the girls said around the same time for them, they started feeling that way. So yeah, I'm not gonna go into all the little details or whatever, but when I did try to talk to the pastor and tell him how I felt like spiritually when I would leave church, I honestly would feel empty. Like I didn't get anything. And then I'd go home and I'd listen to a message from the church that we're going to be attending now or some other church and I'd get what I need. So I don't know. And no, I don't expect him to be like my old pastor or other pastors or whatever. Each pastor is gonna pastor differently. I get that, but I don't know. I don't want to say anything neg negative and I can't explain it. But anyway, we are going to be going to another church and I'm so excited. I cannot wait. The girls already have friends there because we've been there many a times over the years for plays and for different events and whatnot. So yeah, you guys, that's what I wanted to say. That's the only thing that's really new that's going on. Yeah, and tomorrow I do have, I'm going to um, the ladies breakfast. I think I told you guys that I had to go buy a fruit tray for tomorrow after we talked to the pastor on Sunday. I didn't want to just say, oh, today's our last service. Bye. Um, we gave them like, you don't have to do all this or whatever, but I just wanted to do it properly. So we were there on Wednesday night and then the Sunday will be our last time there. So yes, you guys, we're going to be attending another church and I'm excited about it. I'm looking forward to the growth of us spiritually. So y'all know anything about that? But anyway, let me put these towels away and continue um, cleaning and yeah, not doing a whole lot y'all, but I'm trying to vlog here and there. So okay, so I'm finally resting for now. My room is completely done. Laundry is going and I swept the entire house except the kitchen because I do have a few dishes. I don't think you guys can see that. I have a few dishes to wash, but I'm relaxing right now because I've been on my feet since I been home. So I was taking my time in my room and like doing dusting, kind of like deep cleaning. Yeah, I was deep cleaning my room. Like I said, it wasn't dirty because I keep my room pretty clean, but just like the baseboards and y'all know all that stuff like that dusting and whatnot so yeah but I'm resting right now um, I have my powerful fan on because it's pretty hot my air is on but yeah I just finished mopping so um, and then before I eat dinner I'm just gonna do the dishes and clean the kitchen and yeah Y'all, I'm not doing anything. But I'm trying to vlog more, so here you go. Okay. It's much later. It's 9.15. And everything is done. The dishwasher is going. I showered. I made dinner. And I have the last load of clothes that I'm going to wash tonight. And the only thing I didn't do in my room was because y'all asked right the only thing I didn't do in my room was my sheets because I do them once a week and I usually wait till Saturday so I was gonna do it tonight but I got really tired and I'm like no I'll just do it tomorrow take them off and wash them and you know put another set on so that's one thing I didn't do that I actually wanted to do tonight but I just got really tired and what else I'm just sitting here relaxing I'm actually watching a show on Netflix called The Watcher it's really good. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. I guess it's based on a true story, kind of. I know they Hollywood it up. Probably gonna fall asleep here soon. Probably not here in my bed, but this will probably be it for the night. Then I'll pick it back up tomorrow and show you guys a day full of nothing again. Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday and I am on my way to the church for the ladies prayer breakfast um i've never been to one of those before so you know we'll see i'm sure there's prayer and breakfast <laughs> um and we have a speaker so yeah just doing that and y'all something's going on with my glasses they're wonky i would have had them on but one side is like going like this and i tried to bend it back but I don't know, on my face, it's just like, there's on one side, so, 
anyway. So yeah, after that, I don't really have any plans. Um, I will try to vlog there as much as I can. Maybe I'll vlog on my phone so it won't be as awkward having a camera up. So we'll see. We'll see. But yeah, when I was telling you guys last night about the new church, I'm just excited to get that journey started because I never want to say anything about bad about a church or anything like that. I mean, that's what they do and that's how they worship and stuff like that. And I'm a firm believer on God put you in places for a reason for a season. And there was a reason that we were there, but our season is done. So we're moving on. All right, that's it. Oh, <laughs> when I left the house today, I almost forgot the fruit tray. I have it down here. And I'm thinking if I was already on the way or halfway there, I would not have gone back home to get it. I just wouldn't have, so. Yeah. Second to the last time coming here as a member. I'm so excited. And yes, there's a house over there. So this is the fruit tray that I picked up. Okay, so I'm sitting here, okay? Okay. minutes it was really good the speaker who spoke was a guest speaker and if we had services like that all the time over there I would never look to go anywhere else it was awesome the word was awesome and it was just a nice time a fellowship in the beginning and then after that you know we had the prayer and she gave a word so yeah and now I'm just home relaxing. The kids are on their way back home. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna lay my head down for a minute, lean my chair back because it is reclining. <laughs> Let me sit up, hold up, hold up. Okay, but lay my head back for a little bit and take a nap because I went to bed pretty late last night and woke up super early this morning, so I'm tired. <laughs> It's been about a week since I last vlogged. Um, lots been going on, a lot of personal things. Um, nothing bad or anything like that. Just, yeah, so the church that we are now attending, which is a fabulous, wonderful church. I love it. I wish I made that decision before we went to the church we just came from, but things happen for a reason and we ended up not going to the last service that was supposed to be our last service there and i'm not going to get into that so we went to our new church and oh my goodness you guys it's so refreshing it's it's amazing and i do have friends over there a lady that a lady i grew up with her actually we went to the same church when we were younger we went to the same school we're like three months different in age so her and her husband they are there and a few other people from my old church when i was a teenager so it was so good to see them so it's not like i'm going to a place where i don't know anyone but i'll get to know the people there even if i didn't know anyone i'll get to know the people there so anyway yeah i'm so happy i feel that this is a good thing for our family the kids are happy and yeah speaking of kids i'm home alone this weekend again because I think I told you before that they have sisters on their dad's side that are older 
and I know one of you asked me, am I going to still give a story time about that? I am, but I have to get in the right headspace because it was like, it was like a whole mental abuse in that relationship and yeah, just crazy. Anyway, they are at one of their older sister's wedding out of town and they left um, maybe around noon today. The wedding's not until tomorrow, but today is the dress rehearsal and um, what do you call that? The dinner, um, the rehearsal dinner. Yeah. So that's what they're doing. And then they were going to stay two days and just leave early Sunday morning um, and come back home because they really love this church that we're going to. So they wanted to make sure they make it in time for church. The reception is at five, like right after the wedding, Shine was saying, and then after that um she said they're gonna stay a little bit take pictures do whatever and then um leave by eight o'clock to come back home so if there's anything to update you guys on i'll come back but other than that i'm sitting here about to watch um, game of thrones maybe or i know the new season of american horror story is on so i don't know we'll see morning everyone it is saturday morning it's actually 8 30 and yes i'm up but let me show you guys something okay if you've been watching me a long time if you know you know look what i did today so i've showed you guys this before i have actually made this for potlucks at my old church um so yeah it's it's an italian no bake cake and you always have to make it the night before because the filling is like really liquidy when you make it so it needs overnight to solidify so yeah that's what i made and every time i make this you guys it is a hit people love it if you want to know the ingredients of it just look up italian no bake cake google it and if you like those ingredients do it it has the options of putting nuts on it but i don't do it because sometimes if people have a nut allergy i don't want um didn't have any issues so okay. yeah so it's much later as you can see it's about nine o'clock i am so tired Ooh. <sighs> Ooh. but my friends came over and it was so much fun hanging out with them and whatever and we promised not to fall out of touch just because we go to different churches um yeah, because sometimes people do that. You like, you like when you leave a job, you don't see them anymore if you like your coworkers or something like that. So, um, yeah, I'm really tired, so I'm probably not making any sense. But the girls are actually um, leaving. They are on their way home. It's only a two-hour drive, so yeah, they will be here soon. Woo. I am like halfway through Game of Thrones. Did I tell you guys I started watching that again? And by again, I mean I watched the whole first season like last year or the year before that. And I was trying to like watch the whole series. And I don't know, I just didn't. I think I told you guys this. I don't know. But anyway, now that I'm into it, I'm like really into it. So I just, um, I'm about to start the fifth season right now but it'll probably end up watching me i'll pick back up tomorrow because i'm sure there's nothing vlog worthy that's gonna happen tonight i'm at the doctor's office i've had a lingering cough since covid and i'm just getting checked out because i'm so tired of this good morning everyone so it's actually a few days later from my appointment but anyway the doctor says I'm fine. My lungs look clear. Chest x-ray looks fine. They are going to have me do a test that checks my lung capacity. And I remember this test when Cheyenne had asthma when she was younger. She took this test. So I'm pretty sure it's the same thing that Cheyenne took. They can't explain the reason why this cough is here. So for now, she put me on... Um, she gave me the albuterol inhaler and also the one where you only use twice a day. I can't say the name of it. It starts with an A. can't think of it. Anyway, it's in my room. But you 
do that in the morning and at night and that's supposed to calm it down yeah there you go that way um, whatever is causing me to cough or the irritant or whatever that will help mostly and then the albuterol inhaler is for like if I have coughing fits or attacks or whatever like that so I don't have asthma it's just yeah she said I don't have asthma my breathing like percentage oxygen levels or whatever is fine so there's just something that's causing me to cough since I had COVID that's still lingering anyway my mom is in town she actually came on Tuesday today's Friday I don't know if I said that she actually came on Tuesday and she's leaving tomorrow actually she needed to handle some business out here but it's funny because I know I've told you guys this before and I've showed you guys but my mom packs like the old lady on Titanic my mom is only was only planning on staying four days right four days you know you get luggage and you get like the big one then the little one and whatever and they all fit inside that huge one she packed that largest one then the next size down then she had two duffel bags and some other small bags and I'm like mom what are you do are you moving in you know I always have to laugh and make the joke because as long as I can remember my mom has packed so much stuff I don't get it me when I pack it's like I'll pack maybe two one to two things extra because you never know what can happen or whatever no my mom she packs her whole house literally literally almost <laughs> so yeah she's here and let me show you guys what she bought me okay it's one of those year in history things and if you guys want to pause the video to read everything but yes, I was born in 1972, and it's just all the things that were invented and discovered, whatever, in 1972. And it's funny because, you know how kids are? Kids are mean. <laughs> so Savannah said, Mom, how does it feel to be as old as HBO? How does it feel that the year you were born, Dawn Dish Soap was released? Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, I thought this was cute and it matches my living room. So I'm just going to keep it in here. And the hat that I had, one of the hats, the blue one is for her. So when she seen it, she started screaming because she got so happy because blue is her favorite color. So she's like, oh, I'm going to look like the queen. Okay, mom. <laughs> my mom's so cute, you guys. Anyway, she's not here right now. She actually went to the mall and then she's going to visit her brother, my uncle and she probably won't be back till this evening so yeah that's that she's in town and what else has been going on the kids are at work so yeah just me i'm all alone anyway um what was i going to tell you guys so maybe like four years ago um the church that i actually go to now every two years they go to like Israel, Jerusalem, all the places where Jesus stepped foot and stuff like that. So that's like a whole big deal to them and to a lot of Christians actually. So the last, maybe four, was it four years ago or two years ago that my mom went? I don't know, but the last time they went, my mom went. So you don't only have to go to the church to go as long as you pay your money and, you know, abide by the rules. And, and what I mean by the rules is the certain activities they have, you know, because that trip is designed for, you know, to go to those certain places. Anyone could go. So she's going again this year. They're actually leaving a little bit before Thanksgiving. The plan is the next time the church goes, me and the kids want to go also because I just do. I've never been. And they have a payment plan. You can start paying. And so, yeah, I want to go. It's quite pricey. But everything is included except lunch because you're out and about. So all your meals except lunch and your plane fare and your room and then like each destination that they go to, um, the buses that they travel from one place to the other, all of that is included. So yeah, I do want to go. So fingers crossed when they go next time, we are going. So yeah i'm really enjoying my new church you guys it's so refreshing i don't know if i explained any of this or whatever to you guys but i'm not knocking the old church i think i did say that but we were there for a reason for a season and <sighs> trucks outside and god now god is moving us on and i'm so happy i'm so happy to be there i feel 
refreshed in my spirit again. I feel like my pastor before, the one that had to let go of the church, I feel like I felt when I was going to their church. Like, can't wait to go back to the next service. So, that's how I feel. Whew. Okay, it is after work. And I'm actually at Kaiser, about to pick up a machine. Um, I'll have to explain to you guys. I'm pretty sure I'm in the correct spot. Call. They said to call when I get here. Lisa, I'm this is Lisa. Can I help you? Okay, that's okay. Um, so um, we're preparing the machines right now. If you look towards the Danby Moore building, there should be a blue box on the outside of the clinic. Okay, I see it. I see it. It's across okay, the way. If you want, if you want, you can go ahead and drive up to that little box, uh -huh. um, that blue box, and I'll be out um, after we're done programming the machines. Okay. Okay, I will be there. I see the blue box. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. I don't know how much of that I can leave in because of my personal information, but uh, okay. She told me to drive up here. I don't know how long she's going to take, so I'll be back to explain to you guys exactly what's going on. Like I said, I don't know how much you were able to hear because of, I had to give her personal information. So, okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I made it back home and I have this little machine here. I'll show you guys later when I use it, but I am being tested for sleep apnea here at home. Sorry. Cheyenne texted me. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's that. And at first I thought sleep apnea was just something that happened to overweight people, but I got, not schooled, but I read up on it. I asked my mom and I asked my doctor cause I'm like, oh my goodness, it's cause I'm fat. And they're like, no, cause my mom has sleep apnea. I hope she don't mind me telling you guys that, but my mom is all the 5'2", and she's not a big woman at all. Um, she has a little weight on her, but she's not what you would consider overweight or anything like that. And she has sleep apnea. And one of the doctors that I worked for years ago, I started thinking about this, he had sleep apnea, and he wasn't a big man at all. So it it's, doesn't affect just overweight people. I am overweight. Um, now, would me losing weight help the situation probably yes i have lost 10 pounds you guys so far because i've been going back to the gym i think i told you guys that um but you can't see it yet because i'm extra so you probably won't see it until i lose 20 pounds so yeah that's that and so yeah i will be um getting tested i'm pretty sure i have it i'm pretty sure i talked to my mom about you know the symptoms and whatever and it's weird because I never used to snore until I had kids and then I got really tired and I would only snore when I'm tired and then it was no big deal but lately my snoring has gotten worse and it's not only snoring but I feel that I wake up sometimes I feel that I wake myself up because I've stopped breathing if that makes any sense but then I don't know that I've stopped breathing I don't know. My battery is flashing. Okay, Hold so up. it's much later. Um, I know I was talking about me earlier that I'm pretty sure I have the signs and symptoms of sleep apnea. And I wish I would have talked to my mom about it sooner because I would have been able to be diagnosed with it. And it's not like, you know, sometimes you go in for a test and you're like, you're praying against it, whatever. Well, because of all the signs and symptoms, I'm pretty sure I have it. I just want them to test me and then to get the machine so yeah I'll look like an astronaut at night anyway but I just pray that it's not severe my mom is still gone my mom is a road runner when she's here because she's handling business because she still does stuff out here and then she's visiting family or whatever so yeah when my mom is here she's not here <laughs> so yeah um 
and then the kids are not here right now okay so i just closed my front door because i've had it open all day it's getting a little chilly in here so anyway sunday is savannah's 21st birthday and tomorrow night we are actually going she knows about this already but one of her birthday gifts the main gift is we are going to see curtis connor and he's a youtuber he has a youtube channel and then he has a podcast called very really good and i think he's a gamer as well but she started watching him like a couple of years ago and i always would hear her in her room cracking up laughing and i finally went in there like after a while and i'm like who what are you watching what's so funny and she showed me and then we started watching it together so i really think he's funny and so anyway tomorrow we are going to go see him um, it's at the Safe Credit Union. She's super excited about that. And I am too, but I'm more excited to see her reaction to him on stage and seeing him. So that's what we're doing. And of course, I can't vlog. They won't even allow you to bring a camera in there. So um, I'll bring my phone, but I'm not going to vlog in there, of course, or anything like that. So that's what's on the plans for tomorrow. And yeah, that's it. I have nothing. So my dinner is here. I just ordered from Golden Dragon which is sweet and sour chicken, rice and noodles, and it came with two pot stickers. Okay, so it's 9.45 and I'm not going to sleep just yet, but I'm just preparing. And you have to have this little monitor on your sternum. And then I'll put this on my wrist and it's connected to this thing that I'll put on my index finger and then I'll turn it on and go to sleep. And then when I wake up, they said I can't turn it off, but it'll just shut off on its own or I don't know. So yeah, I'm getting tired. So that's the reason why I at least prepared it. That way I won't fall asleep and forget. So yeah, I'm getting tired, you guys. See the marks that the watch made on my hand? And it was not too tight. It was just how I slept because my mom is still here. She's leaving today. She had me, not she had me, but I had her help me put it on to make sure I had everything positioned correctly. Good morning. It's Saturday and I've been up about 20 minutes. Um, yeah. Uh, I didn't sleep very well last night. And it's not like that thing was uncomfortable. But it was uncomfortable. The little thing that went on my finger was so snug to the point to where I wanted to take it off. I know I couldn't, but yeah, I just kept waking up, looking at the time, wondering how much longer do I have. Um, they didn't tell me I had to have it on a certain amount of hours. They just said when I slept. So, but. I went to bed around 10.30ish, but I know I didn't get to sleep till like maybe 11, 11.45. I don't know, I just tossed and turned last night. Today we go see Curtis Connor. I'm excited about that. Savannah is super excited. And that's really the only thing. And I'm gonna drop off the machine back to Kaiser. That way they can have it first thing Monday morning. So, yeah. And apparently, I'm allergic to the tape. I don't know if you guys can see it's still red and then that's where the little monitor thing was at but yeah um, it doesn't itch or anything but it sure it just feels really uncomfortable right now Thank <laughs> you. 